Well, the Merc is back in. Did that fuel tank quick. It's like 10 o'clock. I'm questioning, do I feel like doing anything tonight? <laughs> Uh, I do want to do something, so I think I'm going to, eh, I did get a, bring a dash out, I don't think it's in the car though, maybe it's in the trunk. I wanted to maybe paint the dash, eh, it's, it's a little high hopes for me tonight. You know what, I'm going to try to put the gas pedal in, let's do that. I do have to work with this carpet and stuff still. But it's all sort of in place. We're doing what I want it to do-ish. I just have to figure out this lump in the middle here yet. Uh, I think once I bolt the gas pedal in, that's kind of marries this thing to where it's got to go. I think no matter what, because it's not a molded carpet, it's going to have some weird hump in the middle. I'm just going to have to deal with that. But I did pick up my gas pedal. Or I pulled it out of that truck. I did have a random GM pedal. So hopefully this will sit where I want. I'm just going to position it where I feel it's comfortable. Screw it to the firewall. I drill a hole and uh, get the gas pedal into the car. Then it'll be a little more enjoyable driving around. Right now, when you move it around, you always anticipate you want to push the gas, but you can't. And then, uh, then I think next step tomorrow, I'm going to get this dash painted. Just rattle can, nothing fancy. Uh, that way I can look at getting my glass in. So I've been trying lots of different gas pedals and none of them seem to be working. This is sitting in such an awkward position because it's so close to said brake pedal. I have to kind of mount it high and out of the way. But it's just, I don't know, it's kind of ugly. Just ugly and things aren't working the way I want. <laughs> so, oh, I'm gonna have to try. A buddy of mine gave me one like a long time ago, to which I just turned into wall art. But it's kind of a hot rod style of a pedal, but I was kind of using it to hold stuff on the wall. <laughs> But I think it's time, time to get this one used. I don't have a screwdriver for that. Anyways, I'm gonna get that off and uh, see if this one will work for what I need. It's kind of adjustable. It's kind of like a hot rod, street rod-y kind of thing, I guess, the spoon. I guess they call that a spoon. Anyways, let's see how this works. Let's see if I can make this one work. Ugh. Gas pedal is in. Uh, I just cut the end off of the cable, put a cable tie on there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it probably needs some rather large feet to drive this thing, but works good. Nowhere near my brake, so I'm happy with that. So that is good, done. That took a little longer than I thought. So that was like a little over a half hour messing around with that. I don't know why that took so long. It's not sure. What is happening? Yeah. So, we have that, gas pedal's in. I can pretty much put that hood thing on. I gotta still make some gusset for this because this thing's very floppy. So I gotta deal with that. I do have my filter on though, so. So somewhere here I gotta make a rigger there to, to hold that sucker together. Wire up my temp gauge. Do all my oil gauge stuff. Close, close. I guess whatever. I worked on it for a half hour tonight. That's uh, that's better than not doing anything. At least I got a gas pedal. It'd be a little more pleasurable to drive around. <laughs> Anywho, till tomorrow.
when more fun things will happen. Well, I pulled my, the glove box off the other dash, my parts dash there, and then I uh, rattle can some paint in there. It's sort of close to what this is. I guess I could repaint all these, but uh, I just got my first coat on. I'm going to give this another coat, and then uh, I'll be able to put this together, put it in there. Uh, after supper, I'll be able to sand a dash, splash some paint on it, and... Then I guess I can try to get the glass in. I don't know if I'll do that tonight or not, but that is my next attempt. Then at least it's a closed car. A closed mobile car with working lights and stuff. I don't know if I did mention, I did find some uh, taillight brackets and stuff, so I'll be able to get my taillights all in properly. The other car I think has this latch bit, but I'm not sure. Well, this thing's been a few different colors the more you look at it. Look at this. We got a brown. We got that nice coppery color, whatever that is. And then, yeah, it goes to whatever black paint that was put on there. Well, yeah, so that must be the original brown. I don't know if this was a respray or what happened there. I don't know. Kind of weird. It's been many colors, though. That's all I know. You can even see here. Here, brown. So this must be the original color. Unless this is faded that much, I don't know. Well, maybe. Mm, wow. <laughs> Crazy. Anyhow, let's get another coat of paint on there and get my glove box assembled. Well, the boys left. You're all hanging out. Had a few drinks. Gonna see if I can function and actually uh, paint this dash so that we can kind of try to get the rest of the garbage in here tomorrow, hopefully. Kind of the plan. I'd like to get the window in, but I'd like to get some paint on the dash. So we painted the inside. This is okay. It's kind of satiny. It doesn't quite go with this. But if I have to, I'll repaint my garnish moldings and eh, no big deal. So I kind of got this in, see me do that. I am basically going to scuff this and then hit her with some trim clad flat leather brown. That's kind of the color choice of the day here. It's mostly it's because that's uh, the one can of the most paint that I have. So we're kind of going with that. We're going to finish her up. I'm going to tape off that button. I'm going to scuff the whole dash up and uh, rattle can something in here and say I'd had a productive night. That's kind of my goal. So, yeah, gonna get started. Do some sanding.
So my seat covers came in. I'm kind of going with that route because I'm very being very lazy. So I'm going to see if I can find some blankets to cover this stuff up. To which then I can try to uh, see if this cover slips over. I guess the bottom one's oh no, bottom one's not good either. I may have to run to the thrift store tomorrow and grab me some uh, blankets for these. The front seat I know will work good, easy, very simple. Just slip it over. So I guess I should just bolt those suckers or bolt this one down, anyways. So we're gonna get that started, and then I can figure out these covers. I also picked up uh, uh, like a nothing, no name uh, seat warmer kit for two seats. So my plan is, if my tush is warm, if the, even if the car is not super warm, I'll uh, I'll think I'm warm. <laughs> uh, Oh, that's what a mess up here. I'm gonna have to clean this up a bit here and then, oh, we got a knife. So I'll open these up and I'll show you what these look like. So these are pretty much just a two seat kit. Well, this is a kit for two seats. I don't remember how much it cost. Comes wired, fused, everything. You get the nice little switch. So you have a high low. The thing I wish it would do is you can control your back from your butt, but they don't have that feature. Uh, what I have done is just, I put a, both switches on my side and then I put the, I share one panel across the top and the bottom. So if I want to warm back, uh, if somebody's a passenger, they'll have to have whatever I want. <laughs> not sure what I'm doing with this one. I might just do the, uh, ah, whatever. I'll split them up like I normally do. So once I'm ready to upholster that seat, I'll put this in and then I do, then I'll do the, uh, the seat cover. So this is going to work pretty quick. Anyways, I'll show you that when I get to it. Just checking my stuff. See if this is the same kit that I normally get, to which it is. So I'm going to bolt that seat in because we got to do that. Right. Well, these seats are in good shape, so I've kind of uh, you might have seen me sitting in them and then marking myself with a sharpie. But I was kind of feeling whatever was comfortable, putting myself in those spots, and uh, now I just throwing the pads in. So it's roughly where I'm going to sit, comfy, sitting on some pads, warm myself up. <laughs> so I have to hook these all up yet, but. Once I get the seat covers on, it's gonna be good. The wires just run through the back, to which then I'm gonna have come under the seat after the fact. But the seats are nice, the covers have a full back. So I'm gonna to try to put the seat covers on now and well, see, hopefully I can stretch them tight. I don't want them to look like a set of uh, sacks, potato sacks on here. So hopefully I can stretch that stuff and keep it really tight. So yeah, let's give it a shot, see what happens here. Well, that one didn't go too bad. I wouldn't say it's perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but it's all right. Maybe it'll work itself in a bit. Can't really pull it tight. I guess it's perfect for this seat being that it came out of a truck. It actually fits pretty good around the top. And I like how 
the back is all covered as well. So this might be a little thin for the rear seat, but eh, we'll see. At least they'll match. It sort of goes with the car. <laughs> eh, it won't be cold like a vinyl seat. Not that that one was, but the original stuff's vinyl and that would kind of suck in the winter, so. Cool. I have to get some blankets before I can tackle that one. So that's that for now. Uh, maybe I'll get my rubber seal and maybe make a, take a crack at this windshield much as I don't want to. They suck to put in, especially when you're by yourself. They're not too bad with a rope, if I had a rope, so. <laughs> We'll give it a whirl and see how far I get here. If not, I might have to wait till Thursday or something when some of the other folks are over. Maybe we'll give it a try then. Well, it's looking like whoever got the glass template done made the glass too big. She no fit, no bueno. It is like set up to glue in place here, other than the center strip. It's kind of silly. So, I'm not sure how I'm going to tackle this either. Because it's too, there's too much gap in the middle just to glue it in. She's a V-butt. I know I could cut it, but I mean, I don't care. I'd almost rather glue it in because then I don't have to worry about it leaking. <laughs> so, much as I don't really want to do it, I think I'm going to cut the rubber, put the center post in, glue that glass in, and then uh, call it done. That's as simple as it gets. It's <laughs> the one way to do it, so don't frustrate a feller. Yep, that's the plan. Uh, yeah, because there would have been a chrome that went around here. I don't have the chrome. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. A bugger on it. I will snip this thing out. I will butt them together. I will sploosh a bunch of glue in there. I'll clean up the edge around the window and then uh, I'll just glue the sucker in, call it a day.
Okay. You might be asking yourself, what was I doing for the past two minutes? Taping it up, untaping it. <laughs> well, two minutes of your time. Maybe less. I'm not sure. Anywho, I had to glue the glass in, so therefore I had to cut this strip out, which left these weird bumpy things, but we'll deal with those another time. You won't even really notice it anyways. So anyways, I ran some tape inside the window because I was gluing it when I pressed down. I didn't know what was going to ooze out and what wasn't, so I put tape in there just to keep a nice crisp line in the car. On the outside, because it fits so tight, I taped both sides. I just smeared some uh, urethane again because I don't have the rubber seal for the lip. So we just did that just to fill in the cracks. Just give it a little bit of a finished look on the outside of the window because I don't have any special trim or anything. Uh, essentially urethane is just a special glue for uh, gluing in windows and cars. So that is what I did. And I was trying to very carefully take it off that I don't get it on my hands because usually it gets on your hands, then it gets on your paint, and then it gets on your clothes, and then, you know, it just snowballs and there's no end to it. Which usually involves you gluing like things together that you don't want stuck together, but anywho. So, we got glass, we're good that way. We'll have to wait for that to dry. That took, well, didn't look like it took very long, right? It only took like two, three minutes. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that bad though. I think all around, farting around with it, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to do everything. Uh, I don't know. It is what it is. I tried doing it the proper way. Clearly, the glass is the wrong size and I didn't want to deal with cutting it down or anything and whatever. I'm not opposed to gluing it in because, well, it's a good chance it won't leak, so. Uh, so yeah, we got glass. That's cool. I think that's it for tonight, though. Uh, I'm gonna probably scoop my hood hinges tomorrow so I can at least get the hood closed and probably get the wipers in. Uh, hopefully I get some blankets and then I can do the back seat. And uh, yeah. Just getting a few steps closer to getting her done. Anyhow, till tomorrow. All right, well, we're back here at this one again. So I'm gonna basically just steal the hood hinge. Uh, I guess this works technically. I'm gonna steal the screws, the hood props, cause they feel like they work. Not very good, but they work. Holy, that's a flimsy setup. Anywho, I'm gonna pull this off. Hopefully I don't drop it on me. And then uh, we can at least get a functioning hood on the car in the shop there. got so much hood hardware in my pocket, I think my pants are gonna fall down. I picked this one up, basically it was gonna get thrown into a scrap bin, so pretty much paid scrap for it. Not sure why, other than I wanted the front axle and the spring and stuff, so just for whatever, because it's juice brakes. So that's essentially why I bought it. But all the panels, like they're kind of dented up, but there's really no rust on the outside of the car. There's a little bit on the roof here, but uh, other than that, you know, it's good for parts. Not that there's a lot left. If a feller needs some body parts, then they're kind of set. I was staring at these hood or trunk latches, hinges, whatever you want to call them. They look like maybe I can retrofit them to fit on the other car. I'm hoping I can. So I am going to, oh, I don't have my impact. 
I'm going to take these off and see if I can bolt them onto the Merc and see. Well, it's one Merc to another, right? Only a one or two generation gap. But we'll give it a try. So essentially I've got to go get a wrench and I'm going to come back and grab those trunk hinges. All right, let's see what I got going on in my pocket here. Got that, that, that. All of that. Hey, I think that's about it. Oh yeah, we got that. It's pretty good. It's quite the pocket load. Okay, I need a half inch wrench and then I should be good for the hood hinges and then we'll see what we gotta do for the trunk yet. All right, after about nine trips with the tools, I made the executive decision that I don't care about the hood rods. <laughs> Can't get them off. I'm not about to fight with them. And then I'll just put a prop rod in. I'll be happy with that. So I got these off that other Merc there. No idea if this is even in the remote vicinity that'll work. But if there's the slightest chance it will, why wouldn't a feller try? So, the negatory. How much does this open? Uh, survey says, and they're good, but what if I bring it out more? What if we did this with them? Would that work? I think so. I think it might work good enough. We'll have to engineer something later. For now, let's just get our hood on the car. Well, after a whole lot of modifying to the <clears throat> the pin, we got her to fit. She don't fit good, but it does fit the rest of the car. <laughs> fit and finish is a little, a little snug, but that's okay. At least she opens. I need to get a new cable for the inside of the car here yet though. But... There we go. Our hood prop sits on the side. Let's see if we get you. There we go. Just like that. Works good. Nice and reliable. Um, I guess now I gotta do some wiper stuff. Gotta get that done, then we can start putting the dash together. Uh, I would like to convert those though. But we'll see how they work. We will hook some vacuum up. See if these buggers actually do something. I guess if they do something, then I'll just rock with it. All right, well, in case you didn't know, on an LS, if you pop that tab off, that is a vacuum module there, or is a source of vacuum. 
sure we're in park. Ignition on. Let's see if we got wiper work in there. Ooh, look at that. How rare is that? Eh, we'll go with it then. Seems to work. Uh, one way closes it. There we go. <laughs> cool. All right. Then uh, let's just put those in and be done. Because clearly it works. And then we can start working on our, our dash. All right, we hit the uh, thrift store today. Picked up a whole bunch of blankets. And uh, now we can wrap our seats nicely before we throw the covers on. So I'll get these all propped up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. I'm basically just getting all the lumpy bits out. So I got a nice smooth seat cover. I don't care if they're not perfect, I'm not the one sitting on them. <laughs> Anyways, what do you think? You like those? Hmm? Do you wanna have a nap on one? How's that? Do you wanna nap on one for a bit? No? Do you want to wear one? Hmm? No? Don't like that either? <laughs> All right. Well, my objective is to not really care about much of the seat but i don't want to be able to sit i don't want to sit on the uh, these wires so the most of the seats fine i think i can almost hog ring some of this stuff back together and then i'm just going to throw a blanket over to get rid of the bumpiness and then we'll try to see if that seat cover stretches over and looks okay on it it's totally the wrong seat for it but we'll give it a shot and see what happens here i'm gonna go get my Hog ring pliers and some hog rings. Well, it's a little lumpy, but it is a back seat, so I think it's, it'll be okay. Ideally, it would be putting a whole lot of foam on it, but I don't have a lot of that, so I just, like I say, grabbed a bunch of blankets and went with that, so. Anywho, this is good. We're going to have to do the back part of the seat here yet, but uh, I'm going to get this cleaned out, get the carpet trimmed up. I still have to get... A little more insulation for under the floor right there uh, but I'll get this cleaned out that cleaned out we'll start getting the seats in see what she looks like hopefully I'll be able to uh, get started and try to figure out what to do I'm kind of thinking of like a big fish hook maybe I can get around the bow and just kind of sew the headliner back in place because I don't think I'm gonna have luck pulling this apart here and then getting in so I might just squeeze it up see if I can fish hook and thread around it and me if it's good if that doesn't work then I don't know what I'm gonna do either just tear the headliner out or something don't want to it's kind of nice but eh. 
we'll figure something out. Like it's buggered in the back anyways, but eh. we'll make an attempt at keeping her anyways. Front seat in, back seat in. It's a little gappy here because we got to find somewhere I have the armrest for the back seat. So we'll have to do those. We're going to have to make all new door panels yet because I think most of them are all junk. I have one to use as a rough template. I don't mind making those. I was just lazy and didn't want to reupholster all my seats. So, uh, yeah, well, it's not too shabby. I think my arm resty things are back here. Oh yeah, there we go. So, these don't look bad. They look usable. So I'm gonna smash these in. And then, I don't know, not sure what to do. I guess my sills, I semi salvage them, so. I can put these things back in the car. I believe they're sort of usable. Oh yeah, that'll be nice. That'll finish it up nice. I'll get all these in then, and uh, get the armrest in, and then we'll be, we'll, we'll probably uh, be the end of this video here. Okay, well, what is left of my sill plates? They are in both sides. We got those in. We got our little armresty things in the back end. Um, whatever rug I had left over, I kind of pile drive it over on the package tray. So, at least it has something on the back. I'm sure in the winter I'm going to have to put a fan or something on there so I can get my back window to defrost. But we'll deal with that with some other wiring. Basically, i got to bring the wiring back from my seat, so I'll probably put a switch in on the dash to run a rear fan. I don't know yet or not if I'm going to need a rear heater. Time will tell if this factory one can kind of keep the car nice and warm or not. I may put in an auxiliary heater yet, I do not know. But, it's not too bad. We got our, our hoods in, latching, that's all working. The trunk we haven't got to, I'll probably do that on the next video. There's a 
a bunch of fabricating I think I got to do to make that work but for the most part the hinges look like they're gonna work okay and then uh, I guess we're gonna I'll start doing a little more rust stuff before I go back and do the interior things like that or I uh, finish up my dash and whatnot I'm gonna try to source out a visor because I think this car definitely needs one looks pretty ugly the way it is right now but anywho I think uh, that's where I'm gonna leave this one for now so as always, folks, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.